Sound is more than what you hear. It can help set the tone and create an authentic atmosphere, but more importantly, it can influence how you feel and guide your perception of the world. From the start, we wanted to be out on the water in a ship to truly understand and capture the sounds of sail. So, our audio team arranged a trip to Komodo Island in Indonesia to record the sounds of boats, creeks, sails and waves. We spent time on two different sailboats. To create authentic sounding weapons, we really wanted to record cannons that were used during the 17th century. So we worked with Boom Library, a sound effects company based in Germany, to record sounds of real live cannons. They were able to source a whole battery of cannons and brought them to a gun range to fire and record in a quiet, controlled environment. After these sounds were edited and designed, we tweaked them for different weapon types. For example, you may notice different sounds depending on whether you're using an explosive, piercing or oh, healing weapon. Beyond the sounds of battle, the team also wanted to find voices that highlight the rich diversity of the Indian Ocean and its surroundings. So, as you explore the world and interact with different pirates, listen closely to catch Swahili, you should visit the African coast. Indonesian, even afford dinner for my wife and child. French, and Dutch accents. One of the first characters that you will meet is Asna Yatim, your first mate. Originating from Southeast Asia, she acts as a guide and uses her extensive experience and knowledge to aid you. For Asna, we needed a voice that could stand out from the other crew box and we made the decision to go with a Singaporean accent. It was a proud moment for the team based here to be represented in a AAA game, which is something we don't see very often. Skull and Bones has numerous dens and outposts with their own unique sounds. Some of the ambient sounds in the Teluk Penjara den actually takes inspiration from what you can hear in Singapore. This includes chirps from the house gecko and the infamous koal bird calls. We also visited local markets to record ambient sounds of people shouting and hawking their wares. For our music soundtrack, we worked with Grammy-nominated musician and composer Tom Hockenberg to find a unique and modern sound for our game. Our soundtrack highlights exploration and the captures the essence of what it means to be a pirate. You will hear instruments including orchestral strings, brass instruments and rhythmic percussions and synths that echoes fast-paced epic naval battles. Of course, you can't have a pirate game without shanties. And because Skull and Bones is the first pirate game based in the Indian Ocean, we wanted to produce shanties in languages of the region. We worked with composer Sean Dagger, as well as native speakers and dialect coaches to accurately capture the essence of these languages and cultures. As you sail, the shanties of a certain region and language may be triggered to create a more immersive experience. At launch, you will be able to hear 30 shanties composed in four different languages. Bahasa Indonesia, Malagasy, English, and French. That will both accompany and enrich immersion on the high seas. In addition, we also worked with Home Free, an a cappella group, to write and compose an original shanty to commemorate our comeback which can also be heard in-game. All these different elements come together to create an audio experience unique to our game. From the crash of the waves, the creaking of your ship, to the boom of cannons and the shanties in local languages, we can't wait for you to begin your journey as a pirate captain in Skull and Bones.